So it turned out to be a really gorgeous day. Not much sun. We are almost completely done. I wanted to make a video very quickly just to show you a few things. You know, when we're making these type of repairs, there's really a few different things that we're trying to accomplish, right? When a shingle is missing, we have water that's coming in here. So we're trying to complete this overlapping effect where any water that hits the top hits, you know, each shingle which overlaps the next. When we lay shingles, we start from the bottom and work our way up. What is most significant is that we create that seal again where any water top where it disperses at the bottom and has no chance to work its way behind shingles. One thing I want you to pay attention to and why it is so important that these repairs are made by experts only on a roof this age and shape. Do you see this damaged shingle? This is one of the only shingles that we had that had heavy creasing that wasn't completely blown off. If you look that entire sheet, this entire section, those singles, they were all blown off. So we only have one shingle with creasing. The reason I show you that is that in order to replace this shingle or that shingle, the only way we can do that is go to this next layer and scrape that layer up to get to the non-exposure. This shingle actually runs all the way back behind here and is tacked up there. So the question becomes, if we have to peel those layers up, right? In order to change this shingle, if we have to peel these two layers up to get to the non-exposure under there, how do we peel these back without creating the same symptom? And therein lies the problem. You know, you have to be very, very extremely careful. If you look, we have areas where we've changed a whole entire sheet, right? And if you look, even though this entire section was not disturbed and we had to get all the way under, we have no creasing. And in any of the areas, you know, where we have made heavy repairs, we have no creasing on those shingles. So that's what you want to see. You know, not so much that the repairs are done correctly and intact, which obviously is important, but also that in the process of doing so, that referred damage hasn't been caused to the entire area that ultimately is going to cause more harm than help. So we're in good shape. We have everything patched up. On that back end, since we don't have one missing, we'll just take a cap nail and some muck and get it down. After that, we'll get cleaned up. We're going to clean these gutters out and, uh, you know, get on our way for it today. Pretty much all wrapped up. So hopefully that was helpful to you guys. Um, give you some insight on how to make these repairs correctly.